In this tutorial, we're going to follow up on my first video showing you how to depict a social network in QGIS, in which we, we produce this map here. Um, in that example, we first spent some time in Microsoft Excel cleaning up the data a little bit. I had a node table with information about specific individuals with a location listed as a particular city. We had an edge table with information about the relationships. But in order to go from this general city textual uh, column here to something which had latitudes and longitudes, we used the lookup function inside of Microsoft Excel um, to add two new columns here before we imported it into QGIS. Um, check that tutorial if you want to, to see how I did that. Um, I said at the time, however, that you can do this within QGIS itself. So that's what today's quick tutorial is, is all about. Because I think there'll be a number of occasions where you might have a general list of locations that might make multiple appearances in a table of data, and you want to get that location information into your um, table without any uh, geometry or geographic information. So I'm going to create a new project here. And um, I have already exported the sheets that uh, were here. We're not going to use the edges yet because we're just looking at how we can link the nodes and the location. So I've exported this as a CSV UTF-8 comma separated values files. So now I'm going to bring them into QGIS. I tell it the name of the file. Um, the nodes has no geometry. It just has the list of the names of the cities. So if I click the Add button on that, that'll be located here. And I'm going to import now the CSV with the location information. Um, this does have latitudes and longitudes. So we're going to tell it that it's point coordinates. It's a long way from the north to the south, so that tells us um, with these vertical lines uh, the x information, and the latitude is the y information. And when I add that, I now have a list of locations. Let's add in a coastline so we can see where we are in the world. Okay, so. Now I know where these locations are, and they pop up in lots of different places. So we have a number of individuals in these cities. How do I get these points onto the map if I've already brought the table in? So here's where the inner join comes into play. We have to create a new virtual layer, and the virtual layer will show information on the map that is the result of an SQL query. Uh, we're going to query uh, and create a join between these two on their geometries. Okay, I'm going to copy this in and I'll explain it in a second. Going back to QGIS, if I add a new virtual layer, and I'm going to select all the information that I need from uh, locations geometry, which is where those locations are located on the map. Taking that from the locations layer, and I'm going to join it to the nodes layer. And the column that they have in common, something you'll need to check in the attribute table, is there is a location column. I don't know if it's case sensitive, but just in case. A location column with a capital L in locations and a location column with a non-capital L in the nodes column. So those should be the same, and thus the nodes will be able to draw in the geometry from the locations layer. This is going to be in a new layer. When we click Add and Close, we'll see this new virtual layer here. And if I turn off the locations layer, you'll see that the points are all there. But now, if I go into the attribute table, uh, you'll see that each different person now has uh, all of the information associated with that person, but is also located on the map. And we can confirm this. Uh, let's go to somewhere where there is only one person there, Dalian. 
if we go to Dalian and we label Dalian by going into properties, going into labels, and I'm going to label it by person and apply, you'll see that it's no longer the name of the city, which it would be if I had labeled the locations layer, but the label of the person. Obviously, because we have people, multiple people in the same city, you'll end up with multiple points in some of the cities. Great. So that's how you get uh, from an imported table without geometry information to draw the geometry in based on a column um, which connects to a lookup table of locations.